After lunch, we headed towards Prozor Rama, still heading towards Sarajevo, where we would then head towards the small hamlet of Parsovici, as we wanted to get off the main roads. From Parsovici, we would head towards Konjic and then on to Sarajevo. We had now had a few days where the vehicles were performing well, and you can see the confidence in them transferring to everyone involved. Spirits were really high within the team, which was great to see after all the troubles we had had. Certainly that, isn't it? Certainly pretty cute. That's our road over there, mate. Yeah. This is what we want, eh? Loving this. Oh, 
veloce, ó. So we're driving through uh, a little village called Cute. You can see the mosque in front of us. Uh, and we're heading towards Sarajevo uh, from Shit Lake. Uh, we, we all just had lunch there at Shit Lake. I know it sounds a bad word, but uh, that's how it is said. S C I T, should I say. And uh, as you see, we're through these tiny villages, which is fantastic. Uh, uh, Jason's doing the driving for us and now we are the rear vehicle today, which is unusual, we're usually at the front but it makes it great to do some filming and we're just coming to a traffic jam of a tractor coming up the other way which is all good, all good, all part of the experience eh? and you can see the, some of the houses to uh, right here What do you think of this place, Chase? Yeah, very remote I hope you also get to uh was getting vertical living up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just seen one village just on a precipice, and if you jumped out your front door, you'd be jumped in a hill. Look at all, I'd be a fair old drop. <laughs> but this is what we came here for. These are fantastic roads to drive in. Uh, we just passed a site just up the road uh, where the mine, war mine signs are still out. So it's obviously, and <laughs> funnily enough, as we commented, as we drove past, there was a school right opposite it, you know, which. You can just imagine that in the UK, it just wouldn't happen with it. But uh, these people have got mines here for years. Uh, uh, just unbelievable how much mines were laid here and, and ordnance laid around. And uh, it's been a huge problem for the country. Uh, and I know of uh, uh, a guy in uh, Sarajevo called Al Smith, so that's a big shout out for Al Smith, who uh, runs teams here clearing the ordnance and the mines uh, from this area. He's been doing that for a long time now and uh, it's a huge problem but these are stunning pictures of the, the vehicles I think This is where we're going now, a bit of off-roading as well look My throat much good though. No, I'm sure it's not. <laughs> See, I'm new these mad bastards from new roads. <laughs>
the defender in amongst all that dust. I bet yours is the dirtiest of the lot of them. You're hitting. Right, it will be because we're getting everybody's fucking <laughs> crap just to hold up. Great road to drive on though. We've come from over there. There's the moss we drove past just behind you there. Now we're Taylor and Charlie the day taking up the rear. <laughs> I should just say, maybe I should rephrase that. <laughs> we're following, we're the last <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're having a good time here. <laughs> yeah, maybe not taking it up the rear though. So I did an expedition with uh, Robert Lawrence uh, in 2010 in the Himalayas and we had some fantastic roads but th this, this is comparable. It's definitely comparable to the roads. And if I'm honest we've got better vehicles. We were driving like Indian Jeeps and uh, there was a lot of guys driving uh, Enfields, Royal Enfields and it was a fantastic expedition but I have to say some of the tracks we've seen uh, on this route we've driven along are equally as good. Different kind of uh, terrain completely, but still mountainous, still dangerous with the, the drops we have. And, uh, and, then, and then the situation just gives a wee bit of wheel spin, a wee bit of drifting around that corner. Uh, we're doing good, you know. The, the vehicles have proven that, uh, what we built them for on this road today, uh, which is really important. Like uh, we, We've seen a lot of tarmac on this uh, trip so far. Uh, good roads, don't get me wrong, good roads, uh, windy and uh, mountain passes. But these are the kind of roads we're after uh, when we put this together. This is what we're looking for. And just look at that image. I mean, there's off-road routes in the, the UK, but uh, a short uh, a permission is really hard to get and get with green lane. But out here in the Balkans, there's no end of tracks. You can, I mean, there's very little traffic on the roads anyway, like on the main roads, never mind on these off-roads. I mean, we haven't seen another vehicle on this for the last, what, 10 miles or so on this route, maybe even more than that. And uh, so you can actually enjoy without thinking something's coming around the other way. Uh, obviously you're prepared for something coming away, but you know, like uh, the chances of it happening are pretty remote because this is pretty remote. And uh, so it's, it's, I couldn't recommend the, the Balkans highly enough for uh, off-roading. That doesn't mean that every off-roader comes here and spoils it for us, because we might be doing a lot more. I'm here with a, a group of veterans, we're in the Balkans just now and uh, we're driving vehicles that we built over a 10 month period thanks to uh, lottery funding. Uh, the lottery funding we, we received wasn't for this particular trip, that was we got the funding for, uh, from another organisation. But the lottery helped us put these vehicles together and how we carry the expeditions uh, and how we use the project in the future. Uh, this is the, like, the type of stuff we will be doing with veterans. Uh, currently we have 12 veterans with us uh, suffering from post-traumatic stress. Uh, we've been on the road now for 12 days, I believe it is, and we've got another 30 days to go. Uh, what this is all about is the whole process is the, the building of the vehicles and then to drive out 
to do an expedition on vehicles you have built. Uh, this is just a, a cherry on the top of the cake. But the real work is done in the UK, as in the, the building of the vehicles and the amount of work that it takes uh, and funding it takes and sponsorship from many, many different companies who support our veterans. And this is an appeal to you to, uh, to get behind us and uh, help us continue this project. Uh, we believe it's really important. Uh, many of our troops served out here in the Balkans. Uh, we've visited over the last few days uh, memorials to uh, soldiers who had sadly lost their life here during the, the conflict in the 90s. And, uh, and I think this is an important uh, recovery phase for veterans who are taking, up, uh, taking part in that conflict. And just sitting me next year, uh, driving uh, is Jason, uh, who took part in the conflict in 1994 and who lost a friend. And yesterday we visited the memorial Jason, how, how, how has this been for you, as in uh, the actual drive, the building of the vehicles, the drive, and the fact that we got to visit one of your friends' memorials here in Bosnia? I'm grateful for the opportunity to take part in, in, in such a, a great expedition. It's been somewhat, yeah. somewhat difficult at times. As soon as we crossed into the border into Bosnia, I was very apprehensive about coming on this specifically this part of the journey um, but now I'm here and um, this off-road track that we're now taking towards Sarajevo um, is, is, it, it's put a smile on my face um, it's loose ends that I, I, I'm going to still have to tie up um, with um, in respect of, of, of my time here and the problems that I've had because of it um, but I would say uh, I would definitely back VIA to to be able to do this and help other veterans that have served out here and would maybe like to come out here again and put some demons to bed and uh, you know, tie up those loose ends that are making life so much difficult for us back in the UK. Um, I myself have physical disabilities now due to my service. Um, I'm still having treatment for. Uh, for trauma and um, it's, it's going to take time it's all work in progress but you know expeditions and, and opportunities to be able to come out and do things like this definitely help I would say yeah please back VIA and uh, you know um, know that you've, you've, you've put money into, into the pot to help other soldiers like myself get their life back into some sort of normality again Thanks for that, Juice. So, for me, uh, I kind of put this project together with a few other people. Uh, it's been a passion of mine for a while. I put, a couple of years ago, I put a comment up on uh, social media asking people if they would be interested in a return to the Balkans. As many people have never returned here since the conflict. And this is what this is about. So. If you are a Bosnian veteran or, or, or a veteran of the Balkans War, whether it was Croatia or wherever you were at, where, then this is something that you can get involved with in the future. Uh, it takes obviously some funds to do this, so we're looking to be able to help us with that, uh, whether it be companies, whether it be individual sponsorship. But having been here now and witnessing uh, what it's like to be in the Balkans and, and how Jason. Uh, yesterday visited uh, uh, Bogonia uh, where he served and we also visited uh, uh, Gornia Vakuf and TSG uh, to, to go to the places and dri drive the roads where once upon a time he uh, he witnessed uh, horrible horrible things that caused a ma major trauma to him uh, to come back and visit these places and see how the places have moved on but what I have to say is, although it's moved on, there's still lots of evidence here of what went on during the conflict. And today, as, as we've said, we're heading to Sarajevo, where a lot of the fighting was done, and it's where a lot of the media attention was uh, focused on. Uh, but every village here was affected. We just drove through this really remote area uh, where there's minefields. 
uh, still still made put main warning signs up uh, next to schools, uh, which is really ironic, and uh, and and it's for us it's it's been really rewarding to be coming here and do this. But what we learned from yesterday is that uh, we cleaned a few of the headstones up, or, or so, I shouldn't say headstones, the memorials up that was put there by soldiers who served with some of the guys who had fallen. And uh, I think part of our project in the future, although we're headed to Greece on this expedition, uh, part of our project for the future is to come to the Balkans and bring uh, veterans from the Balkans war uh, to exercise some demons by coming and visiting the places they served in uh, and having a great time at the same time uh, because there's nothing wrong uh, what, what's been said to us in the past it's about guys going out and having a good time it's about a jolly but believe me when you're here with veterans who are suffering with PTSD it's far from a jolly no two days are the same only takes a minuscule thing to uh, cause disruption throughout the whole day and the moods of each individual. How we manage that is sometimes very difficult, I have to say. It's a lot of pressure on us as a team, uh, but it's something we thrive on, and something, even though our heads go down at times, we hate to say that, uh, the pressure of doing this can be immense, but it's very, very rewarding. Uh, I spent the day with Chase yesterday in Gornia Vakuf in Gornia, and I have to say, I, I hadn't been here as, in, in the army, uh, and I was quite moved and emotional. So I don't know how Jason was feeling, that, but I was, I was emotional at the same time. And uh, then to come out and witness this, uh, some of the sights we've seen. Uh, I know you're probably all just seeing that now is dust, uh, but, but uh, there is a Land Rover out in front of me there, honest. Uh, a Land Rover Defender and two discos. Uh, but we are having a fantastic time. Uh, we've met some fantastic people. Yesterday we couldn't find one of the uh, memorials uh, and we went to a police station and they couldn't be more helpful. And they tried, uh, the, the lady police officer uh, instructed one of our, uh, our officers to drive us to the location or we followed him and uh, we got to the location and uh, the policeman himself showed us that one of the person, one of the people that's on the memorial was a policeman himself. So them and Gorn uh, and Gorn Yvakuf have been looking after the site themselves uh, because it means a lot to them as well. Uh, so I know I've rabbited on here. If you are interested in getting involved in an expedition in the future, or you'd like to experience what Jason's experienced, then get behind us and uh, let's make it happen for those who suffer. So this is where we're driving today. You see, on this steep hill, it's even steeper down there. You see, <laughs> it's uh, it's as steep as a steep thing. <laughs> this is for Claire and Gwen. Have a look at this. I'd love this to be my office. <laughs> I really would love this to be my office. <laughs> oh, check it, it's all about going from the start of the half down and up again. Oh, aye. It's got to be a thousand feet down there. Yeah, easy one. Oh, easy one. Oh, it's yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's easy one. Yeah, big drop there. Yeah, big drop. Yeah, that's the one that's going to get me going. Check that out. Now that is a drop. Right. <laughs> one for Claire. <laughs> one for Claire and one for Gwen. <laughs> God, that is a drop. Yeah. 
that is, yeah, that is a draw. That's a good spell, isn't it? Yeah. In the world would you rather be? Oh, this is right here. Beautiful day. Hell. Beyond it's 30 degrees, isn't it? Must be. Oh, it's quite nice. Bad twice. Yeah, that's when I've got yeah. a bottle of media, Claire. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Claire. I'm behaving myself, most making me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. See, even box was off here. No, that's a VW, is it? Yeah. That's oh. an old, um, uh, Sap. My grandparents have one of those things. Oh, this is just. Yeah. Oh god! Oh fuck! Stop! 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 Stop